Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fruitex so after lots of search and the trial i got the new gsi android 11 build for nord 2 which is almost stable gsi build and it has some minor bugs i have given the some solution in the video to overcome that bug so please watch the video till the end still this is the gsi build so you may face some bugs so if you are interested you can try this build but before proceeding please take a full android backup using the twrp if you want to revert back just distort that android backup using the twrp in the video i didn't show the installation process there is already video available and you can check that video in the right side card also guys if you think my hard work for this device is really worth for you then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content so without wasting time let's get started the new adventure So here I flashed the GSI build and rebooted. This is the Xeardroid GSI ROM logo. This is one of the most customized ROM in the world of custom ROMs. If you go to the settings and about phone, so this is the Android 11 GSI for the 3rd October. So Android security patch level is 1st October 2021. But as I flashed this on the stock vendor of Oxygen OS V14, we get the vendor security patch level of 1st 7 November 2021. As soon as we boot, we'll face the device certification error. To solve that, download any browser and device ID APK. I have given the links of the both the apps in the video description. Download them on the PC and transfer that files in the device using the USB cable. Then install the both the apps, then open the device ID app and copy Google Service Framework ID. Then open the browser and go to the link given inside the video description. There first log into your Google account. Then paste that framework ID there and click register now. After that go to the settings apps and there search for the Google Play services and the Play Store applications. Wipe data and the cache for the both the apps and then force close that both the apps. That's it. Now we are able to use the Google Play services. So another bug we will see the punch hole status bar icons which are not optimized to the status bar. So to solve this issue we need the root access. So you can flash the magic size zip at the start when the GSI installation completes. I didn't done that so I downloaded the magic 23 zip, magic 23 apk and the magic module which help us to solve that issue. So first flash the magic 23 zip inside the recovery now boot and install the magic apk then open the magic app and then flash the no nonsense magic module. While installation skip the Pixel 5 OnePlus 8 8 Pro settings by pressing the volume down, select only custom cutout setting. Now reboot and go to the developer setting and search for the display cutout. And inside that select the N30-150PX. That's it your punch hole issue got solved. So another issue I found is the vibration in the ROM. Default vibration are at highest level which feels annoying and it is the issue for all the GSI. For now, I didn't found any solution, so you need to disable all the haptic feedbacks and the notification vibration as shown in the video. Just search for the keyword vibration in the settings and go to the each search setting and disable all. So let's talk about the OLT calling. To make it work, go to the settings, there go to the PHS table setting. Inside that go to the IMS setting, check mark the request IMS network and the force presence of 4G OLT calling. Then click create IMS APN. Now click install IMS APK. You will see in the notification panel, new IMS APK will download and after complete download, it gets installed automatically. Then just reboot the phone. After reboot, go to the network setting. There just one time enable and disable the 4G OLT calling setting. Now we will see the OLT calling icon in the status bar. Every time you reboot the phone, you need to disable and enable that switch. So one issue I found here is only incoming call on the OLT are not working but other normal calling is working perfectly. Let's see some bugs which we can't solve. One is the OnePlus alert slider not responding. Second is the auto brightness is not working. We need to manually increase or to reduce the brightness. Instead of this I didn't see any unsolvable bugs. So let's check what's working in the ROM, Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi hotspot were working very good, no issues here at all. Bluetooth connections are also working here. If you are facing no sound in the Bluetooth headset then just disable the A2DP offload in the developer setting and then restart your phone, it should work again. GPS is also working and it has great accuracy without any issues. 
videos with the speaker sound are working perfectly here is a sample hey what's up guys two days back i kept off the oem unlock option in the developer setting and tried to relock the bootloader so i got stuck at the boot image corrupt screen surprisingly this is the first gsr rom i found with the working fingerprint scanner sometime it may ask you to repeat the scanning and it also has some brightness issues but it's working good while on the lock screen if you didn't see the lock screen because of the brightness just press the power button and press your finger at the fingerprint location it will unlock instantly face unlock is working and it's very good and fast as compared to fingerprint scanning camera app is working taking pics and the recording videos but i recommend you to use the google cam port for the not to link is given inside the video description portrait night sight slow motion and the time lapse videos are recording and working app has the bunch of the settings we can also load the different xml files to improve the camera quality so let's check customization features in the rom it has the new recents with the screenshot share app close and the clear all shortcuts at the bottom inside the setting we get the dedicated cr droid customization setting so here i will not go deeper because we can't imagine it has all the customizations available if you are already used the custom rom you know that there is a huge list of the status bar quick setting lock screen buttons user interface notification sound miscellaneous customizations instead of this we also get the phs table customization tab which has a lots of hidden custom settings for the phs table roms like force fps settings double tap to wake enabler always on display for the lock screen inside the display we get the dark mode enabler switch style and wallpaper dedicated theming for the dark modes with the different dark themes status bar padding u and display rounded corner options so finally there is one hope applied to use a custom jsi build you can test this rom if you don't like then you can revert back but always remember the experience may vary as per everyone's opinion in my case i do prefer such rom battery life is not yet tested i need some time to give the final verdict on the battery so that's it for today guys if you like my work please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching take care bye bye